Hello! Today's transformation is done for a game sequel, a god of war, and I'm going to paint Kratos. I've done this look as a collaboration with Alessio Miranda, who is special effect artist. He is doing it with the proper props, and I'm adding the twist to my design, adding lots of glitter. I'll put link to his account down below, and I'm also going to put some links about the products that I'm using as well. I've started with silver paint and covered all of my face and later shoulders. The paint is superstar and I think it's one of the most silvery paints that I found by now um, and I quite like it so I decided to use this um, because Kratos itself is kind of greyish in, in the photos that I found so I thought I'll go like for a um, silvery greyish look. Certainly he is not very tanned and I thought that will match perfectly to my glittery version. After I painted this red design on my forehead and the cheek, I applied to the other side Rigid Collodion from Meron, which is uh, shrinking when it's drying and it looks like it's a real scar on my eye. I applied it twice. Next, I started to paint this thing on uh, Kratos' arm. I have no idea what is it called, so if you know, please write it down in comments. Um, so, what I've done is I started with a lighter color. Uh, so I used brown and I used two colors of brown so it's not very even. I didn't want it to be even because I'm going to add more details later on. And I just outlined the main shapes and went down to paint silver uh, my chest. I have a special rubber top uh, because I don't like to use any brass for my painting so it kind of covers evenly my body and you can paint over it easily. The brand is called Moon Bunny and I'll put link down below as well where I, where I got it from. In the next step I'm outlining all the details, making a belt, making a pattern on the belt and then um, shadowing it and adding highlights. When I paint I usually have a picture on my phone so it's easily it's just in front of my eyes and I can just copy the item that I'm painting. Honestly, there were so many details in this top, I got pretty much exhausted after I finished it. For the fur, I was using a special brush which is called comb brush and that is helping to make any fur very very easy because it has um, kind of diluted, uh, cut uh, the bristles at the end of the brush so it creates this kind of effect so I first went over with black and added some grey color at the top so it kind of reflects the texture of fur. Um, now it's time to add some uh, volume to my belt so I'm going with shadows over the shadowed areas and I was looking at the picture because Kratos says um, belt or whatever it's called it's um, it's very old leather and you can see like lots of um, lots of details in there lots of highlights and shadows going from very light to a very dark for bigger parts I was using face paint and for smaller shadows mostly I like to work one stroke so that's what I've done with my shoulder just now. I first um, separated these parts like doing this crisscross effect and then I've started shading it by loading two colors of brown with a um, lighter brown in the middle and obviously there are two directions horizontal and vertical and this is very important to um, to make them different every time so it looks like it's uh, the plot or whatever it's called, the leather is arranged this way. And then also going with shadows to darken the parts when leather is coming out under from the straps and uh, adding highlights as well. I love to use my fingers to smudge the paint, so always after painting my fingers are very very dirty and sometimes I even go and wash them in the middle like a few times even if it's a bigger painting. I just keep adding more and more details and um, smudging the paint, adding more shadows, adding more highlights. 
This is a general look for Kratos done and I'm starting to add more details to prepare it for adding more glitter. So I shadow my neck and it around this red stripe. Also painting my lips. To the silver paint I add a little bit of white and then outline my lips on the outer edge. I'm also painting dark line in uh, the middle of my lips. They're a bit bended and this is made to make a more volume to them, to look them more um, <laughs> bigger. I also decided to do some streaks of my um, neck and I was using Meron powder. Although it was mixing a little bit with the paint underneath so it's not like very clean but I still liked it and I also added glitter later on to that. So it was mainly for background. Also with the same mixture I'm doing my ears and time to add glitter. This one I got from Glitter Hood and the color is Queen Silver and this is honestly my favorite glitter it's like if i had to choose only one color of glitter to use forever i would use this one <laughs> by the way i'm using ivory lenses from pastel dreams uk these lenses keep my own color but it makes my eyes a bit brighter a bit lighter on the edges which i loved for this look and i think i'm going to use it a lot in my next videos as well because that's very very nice color i like my eyes in this color the last thing i do i'm attaching this beautiful gem to my face and this is my look complete i hope you enjoyed watching my tutorial this is a new painting but I have also many videos not edited yet from last year and I hope to finish them off very soon and upload it to the channel and then to have only new ones coming out. And as usual I would like to ask you to like, comment and share this video. If there are more of you here I'll try to be more consistent and release my videos more systematically. This is all for today. I wish you a great day or night and see you next time. Bye!